life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. Hey, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. So for today's video, I have some fun and easy Dollar Tree tear tray DIYs. So if you want to see how I make these, then stick around. So for the first DIY, I'm just taking one of these little round wood pieces from the Dollar Tree just to create a cute little, little sign for a tear tray. I went ahead and I painted this using the um, folk art white chalk paint and I'm going to let it dry and I'm just going to go ahead and add some vinyl wording that I used um, that I cut out with my Cricut machine. And if you look at enough of my DIY videos, you know I like to sand my, my wording on my wood signs because it gives it more of that distressed farmhouse, like rusted farmhouse look. But if you're not comfortable with that, because sometimes the vinyl can lift up, you can go ahead and just add some Mod Podge to it. But I love the way it looks when I sand it. And I just added some beads and went ahead and tied this up and that was it for this DIY. For the next one, I'm taking these little wood like dice blocks um, and I'm going to paint them again using that same white chalk paint so I won't keep repeating myself. I always use white chalk paint either Waverly or I use folk art which I purchased from Michaels. I'm going to let them dry, go ahead and add some cute little word into it. I'm just going to do the word eat and I did I just stress these again. So it's pretty much just the same process with a lot of these um, worded signs. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Simple and easy. And this is another piece of um, Dollar Tree wood. They come in a pack of like five from the Crafted Square section. And the wood letters, you can use Dollar Tree. These are from Hobby Lobby. I just like the way they're made, but you can use Dollar Tree letters. I painted them with some black chalk paint. The black chalk paint I always use is Ink by Waverly which is just black and I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. Now for my O, I had this piece of like greenery. It's kind of plastic, like cloth looking. And I'm gonna use that to create, make a little tiny mini, mini reef to create my O. And only thing I did was just cut some off, twisted it around, glued it down. And I also made two just to make it sit out more with the lettering, if that makes sense.
and I added my podge. Now, I know you cannot get the rolling pins from the Dollar Tree, but you can get them from Amazon. You can also get them from um, Hobby Lobby, which is where I purchased mine. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint the little handles on the roller pin black. But then since this is just for a tear tray, I got annoyed and I broke it just to make it easier for me to paint. You don't have to do that. I was being lazy. Um, and only thing you have to do if you do, if you do what I did, just glue it right back together and it's perfect. And I went ahead and painted it white. And I'm gonna add some cute little word on here that says bakery. I also added some of that Dollar Tree twine into a bow and I placed it onto my little rolling pen. So for the next DIY, I wanted to create one of them tear tray little scrabble signs. I'm going to leave a picture if I can find one so you can get an idea, so you know what I'm talking about. I'm not getting an idea what I'm talking about, but you can know what I'm talking about. I am using scrap pieces of um, these square dowels that you can get from like Home Depot and Lowe's. I always buy them. I know this is not Dollar Tree. Um, you can also use a Jenga little pieces, but I decided to use the wood. And right here, I'm just going to hit and glue. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Now, the stick in the middle is thicker and wider. The two on the end is the same size. And you got to cut them down to the size that you want for your tear tray. Now, here I'm painting it. Um, you can kind of see how I, you know, glued it together. And you'll, gotta, you'll get more of an idea towards the end of what I'm doing. And you might just have to go back and, you know, look at this if you plan on making this DIY because it's kind of hard to explain but I'm going to definitely leave a picture. Next I took these Scrabble letters. You can get these from any craft store. I saved a lot of them from when I got them from like um, La Hobby Lobby and also see right here I'm showing you how I glued it together. So this is I'm trying to you know I want you to know how I actually made this. Um, and I should have flipped this, the, the clips, but I didn't. But I will go ahead and go back to me putting down the Jenga letters. So we're back to me put, placing down the Jenga letters. But I had to put something there so you can get an idea of how I made this. And I went ahead and I just did Farmhouse. You can do whatever you want on yours. Like I said, you can purchase the Scrabble letters from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure about Michaels, and I know you can get them on Amazon. So next, I took this little pig from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to add some wording onto him, and that's it. I just did Farm Fresh. Um, look, I forgot what I put on it. There we go. Bacon. <laughs> I made so many of these pieces, it just, you know, but... Farm fresh bacon. There we go. And of course, I sanded it again. I love that look. Um, and that was it for this. And I sanded around the side of the pig. And that was it for this DIY. Simple and easy, like I said. Same here. Another Dollar Tree little sign. And I just placed some more words onto it. Fun and cheap little ways to decorate your tear tray. I know a lot of people say they don't like the tear trays, but I do still see a lot of people that love to decorate them. It's just fun. You know, even if, you know, not just for decor, it's really fun to find little small things to add on to your little tear tray for just, you know, fun. So next I took this woven basket from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to make like a little, like you went outside and you got some, you know, fresh eggs or whatever and I didn't want the cloth to look neatly placed in here um, so you'll see what I do with the cloth so like I said I didn't want the cloth placed neatly so I'm folding it in and I'm gluing I'm folding it in gluing because I wanted it to look like I just laid it in there and went outside to get some eggs that was my idea for this DIY and make sure you add a lot of glue to the eggs. And these eggs was actually stuck to the cart. I did not 
think they was glued to the carton, but they were. picket fence and I wanted to make this fence look old like on an old farmhouse just a raggedy old fence that's what my idea was for this so first I painted the fence black then I'm going to paint it white after everything dried and I do distress it I sand it once I put the white paint on it then I go in with my stamping pad. I think it's a Tim Holtz stamping pad. I think the color is like old vintage. Um, vintage photo, my fault. And I dab it on here and I just sand it again. I kind of like how it turned out, but I'm not too crazy. And I did add the string back onto the fence. Don't know why I took it off, but because I feel like if you don't, you could also hang this on like a cabin or something. Um, on a doorknob. I thought it was really cute, you know, other than just putting it placing it on a tear tray and that was it and I took this rooster chicken I don't know the difference I don't I don't know and I just placed it in the middle and you can get these little cutout pieces from Walmart that's why I like to go and get these from next I took this little cuttery set um, my idea for this one was you know the large wooden fork and spoon sets you can get from like Hobby Lobby um, to hang on your kitchen wall or dining room wall. I wanted to make some mini ones. So I'm gluing two together for each just to make them thicker. So all three of them I took, I used two forks glued them together, two knives glued them together, and two spoons glued them together. And I'm going to paint all three of these black. Now I know in my videos I cut off the painting like that's too much. You don't have to, you know how to paint. So I like to, to make the video shorter. I'll edit out some of me painting. And I went ahead and distressed around these forks and spoons and knives. Then I went ahead and I figured out how I wanted them glued together. You can glue yours however you want. You don't have to glue them together. Then I seen that I had some buffalo check ribbon and I'm gonna go ahead and tie that around and make a bow. And that was it. Something else that would be really cute on here if you have like a cute little tag. Um, you can tie it with some twine and hang it from the fork and spoon and just place like eat on it. I thought that would be cute too. So next, okay, I have this little farmhouse truck from the Dollar Tree. I took some Jenga blocks and I cut the Jenga blocks down because I want to make this into like a little truck carrying flowers. I have so much fun with my DIYs. I'm a child. And I wanted the Jenga blocks to fit into the middle so I can add extra little flower pots. And you're going to see what I use as like little flower pots. I wish I had something wood like them little... um mini garden pots that Dollar Tree had out. I hope I come across those, but I, I, I use them for, my, for another DIY. So I placed the jingle blocks where I wanted them to be placed after I'm trying to figure out where I want to place. And I use a lot of crazy glue from the Dollar Tree and a lot of hot glue. And I'm using this linen color paint and you won't even be, I don't know, you can tell the difference, I guess. It's really light, but it's really pretty too. And I painted the whole truck using the linen, linen color paint and I got this acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree I had to give this truck a lot of coats so these little glass bottles you can actually get from the Dollar Tree um, pretty sure Amazon pretty sure Hobby Lobby pretty sure Michaels can carry them and this is what I'm gonna be using to carry my flowers So right here, I'm just trying to figure out um, where I want my flowers to be placed. And then I'm going to go back 
before gluing my flowers down, I'm going to add some moss in, be in between the trucks. Because also my idea was like a dirty truck. If it's carrying flowers all day, you're going to have grass, flowers, and all of that left behind in the truck. So once again, I'm a little, I have a good imagination. So that's what I wanted to do here. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my flowers down. I don't have a long clip of me placing my flowers down like I thought I did. I don't know what happened. And then I added some vinyl. And so I went ahead and distressed my truck. And I also used some of that vintage photo, um, the ink pad. And I dabbed it on my truck just to give it an older look. Um, then I added vinyl. And place my flowers with some glue, and that is it for this, this truck. So for this last DIY, I had this tag from Dollar Tree. I did not paint, I just distressed the tag. And I had some eggs left over from Easter last year. And I'm gonna paint the eggs white um, and distress them. And I'm gonna place them onto my little tag and then I'm gonna add some vinyl. That was it for these DIYs. Make sure to let me know down below if you will be recreating one of these DIYs. Um, which one of these DIYs was your favorite? If you're new and you're just visiting my channel, if you like what you see, you plan on sticking around, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Wake up, keep it steady, cause I'm happy, I'm not gonna wake up.